And I knew that you were the one <laughs> that I could call <laughs> winter, spring, summer, or fall. <laughs> June all season. Literally. June, <laughs> June all, all year season. Round. That's a bar. June all year round. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Tea Time with Maya, where I discuss whatever the fuck I want to with the baddest trans bitches in town. Speaking of, <laughs> we got June Balbono in the building. Hey, Come girl. on, June Balbono. Hi. Thanks for having me. How are we doing, bitch? Yeah, I'm good. Let the people know who you are, what are your pronouns, good. what do you do? Yeah, my name's June. Um, I use she, they pronouns. I love to party, that's how we know each other. <laughs> I also co-run a trans grassroots organization called We Exist, Amazing. Um, which raises money for um, yeah healthcare for trans people and redistributes it. Um, and I am also in the process of starting a magazine platform called Easter Generation, oh. um, which is by and for trans feminine people. What's it called? Easter Generation. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I was really tired of kind of like us having to rely on places like The Guardian and the BBC mm. and these places that are really like transphobic to share mm. our stories. I was just like, why is The Guardian publishing like an article by a trans woman, but also an article that's like really transphobic at the same time. Right. And I'm just like, why should I want to write for a platform like that? Exactly. So just like, let's make our own. I don't want to seat at the table. I want to have my own girl. Yeah, <laughs> she wants um, her own table. Literally, it's a I dressing table. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fuck these publications. Fuck these publications. Yeah. And also, we, you know what? We actually don't need to, we don't need them. And I think no. that's something that I really, really likes. And I'm sure you know by doing Pussy Palace, it's like, we literally don't need, you know, the validity of like straight people or white people mm. to tell us that you know our work is cute it's like no. we, we can showcase it ourselves that's no thing. that's the tea it's very for us by us mm -hmm. it's very and i think now is the perfect time for us to be taking ownership because mm -hmm. like you said the trans thing and the queer thing is so trendy mm -hmm. right now yeah, yeah, yeah and i think whilst it's great that people are acknowledging how sick we are mm -hmm. and also acknowledging that we are the baddest bitches mm -hmm. and if you're gonna hire somebody you need to hire us mm -hmm. it's also like how do we protect ourselves and our community from falling into the traps of becoming owned mm -hmm. by, by them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, it's fab that, you know, places are giving us platforms mm -hmm. and like, we are gaining more visibility and stuff like that. Yeah. But also, our living conditions aren't changing well enough. You know what I mean? Our right. life isn't just like, oh, you know, using our voices every now and then and all of these things. It's just like, if you're just gonna like, pass me the mic, that's not gonna happen. I, no. need, to, I need to own a studio. Right, like, you need <laughs> redistribution of the wealth. Exactly. Like, honestly, if you wanna be an ally, give us your paycheck. Mm -hmm. As in, just give us your paycheck. <laughs> As you in, know? just give us your paycheck. Just go to work <laughs> and then Step give one. us your paycheck. <laughs> How is dating? It's a minefield, right? Yeah. At the beginning, when I first started transitioning and stuff like that, and I was just like, okay, I'm re like receiving a level of attention mm. that's really fab and that I'm not necessarily like used to. Right. And I'm I'm obsessed with it. And like when right. you're like, like man, I'm obsessed with that. So I'm just like, oh my god, obsessed. That's fast. No, but can I'm we just, just like, tell the people for a second how obsessed they are? Because obsessed. I don't think obsessed. Obsessed. I don't think they understand. No. A lot of the time, these bitches think when I tell them no. The same men that are trying it with you as a cis woman are trying it with me. They don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to understand, like, it's really your your baby dads and your fathers and your uncles. Like, it really is. It really is. Do you know what it I really mean? is. Your best friend. Honestly. Who's, like, had a girlfriend for five years. Right. Secretly is in bed with us. I it's guess. definitely a double-edged sword. Mm, it's definitely a double-edged yeah, sword. Yeah, how have you found it? I've been doing some defo, like some dumb bitch shit. Mm -hmm. As in like, unblocking men that shouldn't be unblocked. Mm. But I just feel like it's really, really hard for anybody, but especially a trans buddy, in the winter when it gets cold, it's like, I just, I need a cuddle. God, that's what I've been thinking. I need a cuddle. Honestly. Cuddles. <laughs> Don't hit the same unless they're from like a toxic shitbag man. Mm, I hate you. I you hate know? You. And it's difficult. It is difficult. Because like these men don't really want to cuddle. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, like all I need is a cuddle, sir. Why is your hand exploring the southern region? I hate it. I'm just like, you know what? It's like, 
I deserve, like all the trans girls deserve better love and mm. better cuddles and better mm. affection. Mm. And these men just keep disappointing us and I'm sick and tired of it. Honestly. But I hear you. I'm, I'm, try, I'm really trying to do this like, you know, uh, independent bitch. I'm, um, I just feel like I would love to do the independent bitch thing as well, but like, are all you independent bitches really lonely and dried up or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Like, that's how I feel every time I try and attempt it. It's not the tea. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh my God! Ding, 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 bitches! <laughs> Um, My favourite subject ever. Uh, is it? Well, do you know what I have to say? I'm not watching as much porn as I used to. Yeah, me neither. Pre-hormones, mm -hmm. Same. Like, significantly. Right, like, like, significantly. Like, it used to be like a daily thing, and now it's like a monthly thing. It used to be a multiple daily thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, if let me get my pants it all the way real. <laughs> She was tired, mm -hmm. but now she's neglected. Mm. Like, it's, it's, it's yeah. weird. But in terms of the actual porn that I was watching, it used to be like gay porn. Yeah, same. Because that's where I felt I fitted in, mm -hmm. you know? Even though it never quite resonated with me, because straight porn always resonated with me loads mm. more. Um, it just, it made sense because it felt realistic. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. It was but just like, like this, this is, is something I, yeah. I could achieve. <laughs> this is something I could, I, yeah, that could happen to me tonight, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, if I, if I look hard enough. I was not expecting this, no. like, drastic change in, like, libido no. and like, things like that. For me, I'm actually, like, enjoying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm enjoying the low libido. I'm enjoying, like, yeah, masturbating, like, once mm. a month or, like, things like that. It's just, like... It's, I have a lot more free time mm -hmm. and I don't really feel like it's like out of repetition or just like what I'm used right. to. And it's like, okay. Or distraction. It's, exactly. Now it's like, okay, I generally want to do this right now. It's a new approach to like sex and sexuality, mm -hmm. which is like nice. But then I don't actually watch like trans porn, like okay. trans porn at all. Like I feel like it's because of, yeah, kind of like fetishization yeah. and like the weird dynamic and like, I don't know, it just, it They're doesn't... They're always the guys as well. Literally. And me, I'm not that, it's not, that's, that's not, not, it's my not, narrative. yeah, that's not what I do, <laughs> you yeah, know, girl, I like to bend too. over. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought to experiment. Okay, so what mm -hmm. myths slash old narratives bug the shit out of you about trans folk? There's so much. Things like, we want to convert children. Right. Like, things like that. And it's just like, I'm literally just out here like, you know, doing my thing. And right. it's like, I literally don't have time to come up with this like, global master plan of <laughs> like, <laughs> making all children trans. Right. It's just like, that's just not in my interest. I'm just trying to get um, home without being beaten up. Babe, it's like, that's literally like, it. <laughs> that's literally um, it. <laughs> like, realistically, my life has very little impact on most suicide people. We're like, what, 1% of the population right. and don't really hold that much power. It's kind of like, leave us alone. It's like, just focus on yourself. Literally. Hormones. Mm. Let's get into it. Let's bitch. get into it. Yeah. Let's get into it. Fact, get into it. Yeah. Okay. Ding, Let's ding, talk ding, ding, bitch. About hormones. Are you ready? Ding, mm. ding, 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 ding. Ah. <laughs> this, um, feel the estrogen pumping through your body. Feel it in bitch. your bones. Did you rub your jelly this morning? Bones. Of course. Okay. Same and more same. There's this whole belief in this country that's just like. We have free healthcare. Realistically, trans people don't have free healthcare mm -hmm. in the UK. Mm -hmm. Waiting times are like five plus years right. to get hormones on there. To be seen, actually. To be seen. To be seen by like a gender specialist to start your hormonal journey. People inside the medical profession and outside need to do that. This is not like a cosmetic thing. Like this is actually life saving. Literally. Also, it's like cisgender people get hormones a lot more easily than trans people do. You know what I mean? If like a cis woman has like hormonal imbalance, mm -hmm. they'll give her hormones. If a right. cis man has like hormonal imbalance, they'll give him tea. So just right. like, why is it for, yeah, like trans people so much harder to get these same things mm. that cis people are given when, as you said, these are like life-saving like options for us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I feel like the, healthcare in the UK right now. It's like really, it's really bleak. I don't know like what the solution, the solution to me is just like, 
as I said, like redistribution of wealth and like providing yeah. more free services for trans people to access these things. Yeah. And also just like for people to think differently about hormones. If a trans person wants to start hormones, they need to prove that they've lived and they're desired gender, whatever they say, like for two years. My mum literally like that. pointed that to me once and I was like, girl, you need to stay off Google. Honestly. <laughs> stay off the NHS website. Uh, honestly. <laughs> and it's like, there's not, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like we should also encourage a culture where we can experiment with things a bit One, more and it's just right. like, so what if I want to start hormones and like three months in, I realize that it's not for me and stop. Right. You know what I mean? That's okay too. Any changes that you have in the first year are reversible, right. which most people don't know. And it's, it's like, so why shouldn't people be at least allowed to try them to soothe their dysphoria. And also like fuck the government because <laughs> <laughs> that's the make... core of everything. <laughs> Always. It's fuck like fuck the, the government. government. <laughs> listen, listen, it's time for the time. What did we say? Fuck the government. Fuck the government. Fuck the government. That was perfect. <laughs> no, literally fuck the government because I actually paid for my, I went private. Sorry. I paid to go through the private process, got all of that stuff done. I damn near spent nearly a grand. That's the thing. That's why I'm money. like, visit, like, um, hesitant, I'm like Bitch. saying her name because I'm just like, we're literally giving a cis doctor yeah, I like, an issue with a grand. That. We're giving a cis doctor one grand or something. Also, every, every literally, week. let's talk about that because these private hormone doctors, yeah, you're doing things for the community, I guess. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like when you know that the waiting list to get hormones is five plus years, why are you charging the most disimpoverished, jobless, homeless community close to a grand? Literally. To get, to get hormones that you recognize as vital. Like, yeah. it doesn't really make much sense. So yeah. do you know what? Fuck her. Fuck you. <laughs> you know who you are. I've got more hormones now, so it's good. I can Literally, exactly. she, she, can't do, she can't shake them back. It's too <laughs> late now. Listen, fuck it. One day we'll work it's fine. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, no, I, this is what happened. I did all that process, mm -hmm. got everything signed on the dotted line. So I basically just had the letter to give to my GP to say, look, this is what I have been medically, professionally proven to need mm -hmm. and just give me the shit. Mm -hmm. And it should have all been smooth sailing from them, but then they said to me that I can't get them because I'm in a conservative constituency. Fuck the Tories. <laughs> fuck the motherfucking pig fucking Tories. Oh my. It was a whole shambles. I had to then do up some like Instagram post and gain traction from them. And yeah. eventually found somebody who works at Trans Plus mm. in central London, Soho, mm -hmm. which is amazing because they're giving free hormones yeah. to the girls. Yeah, yeah, free yeah. hormones. I know. So yeah, if you're in London and you feel like you might be, um, Eligible, mm -hmm. eligible for hormones from Trans Plus, Defo go that no, way. Trans Plus are fucking fab. Trans Obviously Plus, they're like, we love that. yeah, they have an eligibility criteria and it's right. like a pilot service. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's just like, there is services out there that are doing amazing things. Right. But they just, like, they need, yeah, funding, funding and they need like resources and, and like staff members right. and like all of these things to do, the, to do the work that they do. 100%. Um, so and there's still so much red tape. Where I go to get my injection, it's like all the receptionists are trans girlies and they're fucking fab. Fab. Yeah. And I also want to say I love your fucking t shirt, bitch. Oh, I kind of know, recognize it, Loki. It might be from the Everpress. Let me just like open it up oh, so people can see it in full. Oh, it might be from the Everpress collection. I love your t-shirt too. This Where's it from? This is also part of the collection created by Miss Maya. Ah, no way. And um, yeah, an amazing collection of t-shirts, mm. all designed by trans folk, Incredible as you know. Work. And um, yeah, all the money is going back into the community. So cheers to that bitch. Cheers, cheers bitch. To that. To money to the community. Money to the community. <laughs> and good day. And to fuck the government. And good day. And fuck the government. <laughs> all three. <laughs>to then have fucking Boris Johnson oh tell my me God. that. <laughs> Is he still the Prime Minister? Um, Wait. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl.